Hello friends, welcome to this module on MVC architecture and for web application. In this module, we will be trying to understand how to design and develop a web app which is going to be more maintainable, fine, which is more understandable, it is easier to create and maintain. Okay, fine. So, let us see what is this MVC. MVC stands for Model View Controller. This is a design pattern which was first used for GUI components. GUI component as far as Java is concerned in Java we have seen swing components. Swing components are also based on this MVC design pattern. So, what do we mean by MVC? Fine. Let us try to see this even in a, G, a simple component like swing components. What is meant by MVC here? MVC it says okay, model view and controller. So, what is model, what is view and what is controller? It simply specifies that we should have these three things are always there in any kind of a component. Anything you develop has all these three parts. So, the idea here is to have them in separate parts rather than have separate components, have them in separate parts. Each component, each responsibility, the model part being handled by one part kind of component, we have another kind of component to handle the view part, another kind of component to handle the controller aspect. So, anything is having to have all three aspects. If we consider a swing component, fine, maybe uh, if you are considering simple swing component like J text field or something, yes, in a J text field, fine, a uh, UI component which has a text field maybe. So, in text field, what do we have? Oh, there is some text that is a data fine which is associated with it fine. Model is nothing but this data aspect, the data which is to be rendered, data which is to be displayed. It is a string basically, yes string, string value which is for my particular component. My GUI component is displaying a string, but this GUI component is setting up the pixels of my screen. It is using a particular amount of rectangular area fine, it is showing my string in a particular way. This is what is the responsibility of a view. The view uses the model, the view knows what is the string which is to be rendered, what is the font which is to be used, font is part of the model, name of the font, but how it is to be rendered, the how to do the rendering that is the responsibility of the view. Model is the data, view how to render how to display it, how to presentation part and controller. Oh, for this particular GUI component for my text field, uh, there is an interaction aspect or oh, someone presses a key. Oh, when someone presses a key, what should be done? Oh, if he is pressing a key at the right place, right kind of keys, I have to update my string. There has to be someone who, oh, what is it that he is pressing? What are the keys he is pressing? Oh, if he is pressed this key, fine. Where is the current caret position? What should I do, fine. So, this is what is the controller. Controller handles the interaction from the outside world, fine. Any interaction to this component from outside is handled by the controller. So, that way you develop a system, every system, any kind of thing, they would have a data associated, fine. There is some associated data which we call as the model part. There is an aspect of viewing, fine. Someone who is responsible for rendering it, showing it, fine. So, there has to be separate kind of components who are responsible for, who are responsible for how to show it, who do not have technology about how to render it. And there has to be another kind of a set of components who know how to handle the interaction. If there is an interaction, how will it be handled, fine. So, fine, if we have seen this being done in swing components, swing components have been following the MVC design pattern. This kind of design pattern is used very commonly in, yes, in case of web application for my application. Oh, we have some, for any web application which you develop, we are dealing with some data. There has to be some data which has to be displayed. Who will display it? What is the technology used for displaying? Or oh, normally, what is being used for display? In case of web applications, the client is a browser. And most common thing for browsers is the HTML. So, output is going to be HTML. If you have to give HTML output, what would be the component used from your web application, whatever we have seen so far. Oh, in that, it is going to be a JSP. JSP will be used as a view aspect. So, view 
is handled by JSP. Fine. In, uh, when we follow MVC for web applications, view would be handled by JSP. Model, oh, as far as model is concerned, it depends totally on your applications. Whatever applications we are have developing, they have their own requirements. They have their own kinds of components. What we normally have is, yes, we have various options. We have various options in our applications. Someone clicks something. Oh, when someone clicks as some kind of an interaction with the application, fine. So, we render some JSP. On the JSP, there might be some buttons and various kinds of options which by which through which a user is able to interact with our application. So, whenever he presses any button or any other sub interactive component of our JSP page, he should be interactive with what? It should because this is within a browser, it would result in generation of a request. So, request normally would involve when they reach the server side from the client would involve some kind of a processing to be done. So, you receive a request, do some processing, get some results and display it. Fine. Most common thing, this is the kind of sequence which you follow. And therefore, the things which is used for handling the request would be a servlet. It is more appropriate because that is where we have a Java code. It is not about rendering, it is about processing now. So, processing and also things fine. That can be done easily from a Java programmer would be more used to it. But as far as rendering is concerned, oh, who knows more about how to show a particular thing in a browser? It is a web page designer's job. So, those that is a job of a GSP find the JSP developer. So, here we got three things here again. So, we got model, view, controller. Model are nothing but your various kinds of data objects which are simply having some data within them and to these data objects are nothing but simple Java bean objects which have got get set methods the various properties. We know about yes properties fine properties uh, because of get and set methods. Of course, there are some properties which may be read only property because they do not have a set method, they only have a get method. So, those properties can be read only properties fine, but yes because it is having a getter method of particular kind have it as a property, but it is a read only. So, yes you may have the components can be having at least the getter methods for the properties which we have or sometimes get and set both methods. Your web application would involve using such Java bean components, then it would involve using it is not only these kind of components you will have, you will have other components which have the business logic in them, some kind of processing which have to be done fine and then you will have uh, whatever data comes from the client fine as part of a request there what you get is normally some parameters maybe use them, do some processing after processing get the results and these results are in the form of Java bean components. These components you would normally set them as part of request attributes. You put them as attributes in request, you put them as attributes in your maybe session also many times in session or some of the things in request and then pass it on give it and then you just simply forward it to a JSP for rendering purpose. But initially whenever someone comes initially all requests okay, if you are following the MVC pattern the MVC pattern if we develop using the MVC pattern we develop servlets for handling request. Okay. So, controller the role of controller is normally taken care by servlet. So, to consider this to understand the MVC pattern we will be having an example later on in the next module we will be considering in the next module we are going to be developing a simple Java component, simple web application. Uh, it is not a full fledged web application which we want to develop here fine, but we would like to have some kind of a web application or some template for a web application uh, in any web application what we will have. Maybe you will provide for some kind of a login starts with some kind of a login does uh, you will have uh, once he is logged in you will provide so many other things. Once he is logged in, you will also give information about whatever his personal information, his full name and other things maybe you would like to render it in all the subsequent pages and then various things. And once he is finished with all the things, then he might have a logout, right. So, we will have a login. Uh, what we will try to do in our sample application is we will like to have a login, a logout, a simple login and logout, that is it. 
because that is something which is commonly used across all applications, commonly across applications. And once he is logged in, we will have some kind of a home page where he lands. And on the home page, we can have a logout option. So, initially, he has a login. Let us try to use all kinds of things which we have learned so far. Oh, we have learned about cookies, we have learned about session, right? Okay. So, normally, yes, what we will have? We will have how do we use cookies? Where do we use cookies? Okay. Or cookies could be, recollect cookies could be used for storing some information on the client's machine. It can, for example, it could be used so that he we have some kind of a automatic login. Fine. To have that automatic login, right? If someone comes to the particular to our server, fine, or to uh, to our particular website, if it is found that this person already has certain cookies, we can take him directly to the home page. He need not do a login. There is an auto login fine for that cookies may be used fine, but whenever there is a login we create a new session we would like to start tracking him and maybe if there is a shopping cart application if he select something he wants to add something to the cart we will have to the use of session right. In the session there might be a list in which whatever the selected list it can simply be added fine. So, we would like to in our sample, a sample application we are not designing any application here. This sim sample application only has a very plain thing. It is going to be providing a login page, it is going to be providing a home page only two pages. Okay, there is a home page where he get ends when he does a login and this on the home page he will he might find a logout button. So, when he does a logout he, he is back into the login page. So, we are not having a big application, but just to understand the concepts of MVC architecture we would follow the MVC architecture when we develop this application. So, yes another kind of component which are useful. So, what are the things we will have? Oh, as far as views are concerned if you look at the view. Oh, there are only two kinds of screens we are seeing in this. There is a login page asking for username and password, there will be a checkbox so that whether he would like to remember the password, a login button, reset button, yes we can have that. So, that will be one page that is a login page and we can have one home page or which does a welcome to the user. So, some kind of a welcome message where we can show him his full name, a logout button that is what we will have in the home page. So, two JSP files. Let us call them as login JSP and home JSP. We will be developing those things and then we will also have as far as okay, servlets are concerned they are there for handling all kinds of interactions. Fine. Okay, so, all kind of interactions okay, what are the interactions we are going to be having? First interaction oh the very first interaction the very first page where, where he lands. So, if he goes for the very home uh, fine if he does not specify maybe by default it goes for something like index.html or index.jsp. Oh, I think we can oh, we have a mechanism by which we can specify that what we want as the welcome page. So, can we have something like a servlet being used for the welcome? We can do that. In the web.xml we have an option of saying welcome file fine we have a welcome file list and showing a welcome file and in the welcome file you may mention the URL pattern of a servlet. So, this would enable us to have a servlet, this would enable us to have a servlet which gets invoked whenever someone lands on our uh, on the home of our on the root of our application. So, if he specifies the root of the application, yes we can have our servlet getting invoked. Let us call this servlet as the welcome servlet. So, we will have a, ser a welcome servlet whose role will be to check whether this request which has come if it has got cookies. If it has got cookies, then let us check the cookies, extract the cookies. Do we have a cookie with the username and the password? If there is a cookie with the login ID and the password, then we would like to use this authenticate that fine. Again we should authenticate, if he gets authenticated we can directly forward him to the home GSP. If he is not authenticated or if there are no such cookies fine, then he can be shown the login GSP. So, this kind of processing can be done by a welcome servlet. So, we will have a welcome servlet to do this. Next what we will be having is once he is decided to have once he is seeing login JSP the user will be submitting. So, when the user submits a login JSP he will be submitting the parameters for login ID the password and whether he wants to remember the password or not. So, when he submits this we will have a servlet to handle that also 
and let us call that servlet as the login servlet. So, we will have servlet called welcome servlet fine that goes as the to handle the home it, its job is to check for the cookies. Then we will have a login servlet the role of the login servlet what will be its responsibility the login servlet would just be simply checking if we have uh, if the uh, login servlet would check the would use an authentication right. Oh, let us have some another class which is which we will uh, have as a business component let us call it as a business component because the, one of the business is to do the authentication. So, there is someone who to do the authentication. So, let us have something like an authenticator we can develop our own authenticator class we can decide whether to use database or not to use database we can simp uh, have it as very simple thing fine where but it could then be replaced according to our requirements you can replace it with something which uses database or fine uh, as per requirement fine it can be changed. But we will have separate authenticator who just carries out who receives the login id and password and is able to say whether this is a valid login id or not. And if it is a valid login id and password combination then giving all the information about the corresponding user or oh, this login id is for so and so user that user has name address email id and other all his details there can be a user info yes that is a data object right the data for the user that is a user info. So, we can have another class called the user info. So, user info is going to be a simple java bean component. So, that is where we will have a java bean component with some properties ok fine fine. So, this is one user info component which will also de develop fine. So, this goes as part of the model fine as part of model we have the user info as part of uh, controller we will have welcome servlet we will have another one called the login servlet yes it, it allows us someone to log in and we will have another one because once he is shown the home page right uh, what the login also does here is what the login will be doing ok it will use the authenticator authenticate if he is authenticated he will fetch the user information full user info. So, he gets a user info object. So, that is a uh, data object puts the data object into the, uh, he, he now creates a new session he says oh this is a person who is done uh, who is doing a login I would now start uh, like to start tracking him. So, he creates a session for this for the current user and puts the user info in the session object this is useful. So, that all subsequent pages have this object all the subsequent pages whenever they are being shown to this particular user who is logged in. We have the user's information object available maybe so we can use it for showing him his full name and all other things he, he fine and all in the pages he likes to see his full name is there some welcome message fine. So, in the this we will use here in the in the next page which is the home page we will uh, welcome message with the full name of the user and maybe other information also. We might have a very simple home JSP being created by using the login. So, we have one controller for, but now what does this home page have? This home page also has a logout button. So, when someone clicks the logout button on the home page, it should be going to another controller. So, it is an interaction. So, for handling that logout, yes, we will have a logout servlet fine. What the logout servlet should simply do? It should simply close the session and oh one more thing what we can use here fine is whenever the session is closed how does the session get closed or oh, because he does click the logout or maybe the session is expired whatever the case may be. So, whenever there is a logout maybe there is some cleanup to be done related to this user fine if any such thing is to be done we can have a listener which is our HTTP session listener. So, session listener component can also be created here we will see what uh, what all things we can develop in our exercise, but one thing we are following MVC pattern we will have controller in the form of servlets, we will have some simple plain Java components that is go, uh, going to be our uh, model and then we will have JSPs yes we are only having two JSPs here to be used as the view part fine. So, MVC pattern is what is commonly used in web applications fine and we would understand that by using a simple by creating a simple web application fine the web application is not achieving anything except for doing a login and logout. Uh, when someone does a login we show a home page and then someone does a logout which again are back onto the login page. Oh, of course, I think we will need one more component here one more simple Java bean component because there will be you know when someone when the authentication fails we show him a message error message 
or that message. So there has to be a component which show, which carries the message or value of the message. So we can have a message info object or right, message bean or whatever. Right. So we can have a message bean class. Right. So another bean component can also be there like this. And right. so this is how we have MVC. Fine. Fine. That simple thing is clear. MVC model is related to the data. Fine. The data components. View is related to the rendering aspect and controller is related to handling the interaction. In the next module, we will be looking at the uh, at a sample application which follows this MVC. Thank you.